Most Americans will, will live in poverty at some point before the age of 65, and a person working full-time at the minimum wage earns about 14000 a year, and nearly one, three in 10 of Akron residents will live in poverty, and a person working full-time at ECL earns a living wage and full health care and equity, but that living wage, their wage annually is just around twenty-five, twenty-six thousand dollars $26,000 at $12 an hour times 2,260 hours a year. So that's the math. So, so, so that's their initiative. And, and we, we gave out health care at no charge to the employees on purpose. The whole initiative was to minimize the turnover at the Evergreen Laundry facility and other Evergreen companies as well. And, and uh, one of the ways that we do that is pay living wage. They come in at $10 an hour. They work for six months as a probationary employee. At the end of six months, if they performed on time and they've been productive and get back from breaks on time and, on, and show up every day, they can get elected into the cooperative as a cooperative member. And when they do that, a couple of things happen. They, uh, three things happen. They get an increase from $10 an hour with no benefits to $12 an hour with benefits, full health care paid by the company. They, then they have to also buy their share of the enterprise, and that's cost them $3,000. And nobody has yet written us a check for $3,000. And the way they do that, they work 2,000 hours a year in round numbers. We're going to deduct 50 cents an hour for every hour they work over three years. So of the $2 increase they got, as they got elected into the co-op, they get a buck and a half of that to take home. And 50 cents an hour comes out. And over three years, they paid their thousand, their 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 three thousand dollars at a thousand dollars a year, and that's all they do. That, and the benefits again are at no cost to them, and that's on purpose. That's by design to keep the turnover low. Triple bottom line: Gina talked about that people, planet, and prosperity, and these are all for-profit companies, and we we intentionally focused on green initiatives as we started this project, and every decision we made from the beginning throughout the construction was a focus on green initiatives. And every decision we made on capital expenditures was, was focused on green initiatives. And he, not only being the greenest, but having the lowest carbon footprint in this facility in the United, in Northeast Ohio, probably in the whole state of Ohio. Go to the next one. So we hire locally uh, from the community and, and we match the anchor, in, the anchor needs. And what we did and what the Democracy Collaborative did, who was part of the team going on as this project got its genesis, was go out and look over the anchor institutions in the greater university circle area. That would be the Eds and the Meds, Cleveland Clinic, University Hospital, Case Western Reserve University, the Art Institute, the Symphony, and looked at all of those folks and tallied up what their annual spend was, exclusive of payroll and construction. And that ended up just to be shy of three billion dollars annually. And the notion was, so could we create a company that would be a startup enterprise that would provide a good or service that those folks were already buying, and would they give the Evergreen Initiative a chance to compete for those contracts on an annual basis? And they said yes, and so we decided to launch this initiative. And so we, we did that. But as we started the back, and some of the backdrop is that both the Cleveland Clinic and University Hospital already had commitments to other providers of linen, of laundry services, as we were focused on starting the laundry. So we then focused, changed our shift, and we built a boutique laundry focused on nursing homes as clients. And today the clients are about 15 nursing homes, 16 nursing homes, and four or five hotels in the, in the Cleveland community. And there recently, we just recently, or probably next month, will achieve a break-even break level for the, for the enterprise.